up class, welcome to lesson 810, and we're going to look at examples 1 and 3, which is all about solving um, systems of equations by graphing. So if we look at our very first problem, we have y equals x plus 2, and y equals negative 2x minus 4. So the way that you solve by graphing is first you have to graph each of the lines that are listed. So we practiced graphing in 8, 7, where we practiced graphing from slope-intercept form. So I have my equation in slope-intercept form. I know my slope is the number with the x. So in this case, it's the invisible 1. And my y-intercept is 2. So I'm going to start at my y-intercept, and my slope is 1. So that means I'm going to go up 1 to the right 1, up 1 to the right 1. And I'm going to keep doing that. And I'm just going to do a lot of points, that way it helps me draw my line nicely. It's very important in this section that you are carefully drawing your lines because ultimately we want to know where do these lines intersect. So the next equation we have is y equals negative 2x minus 4. So I start at my y-intercept of negative 4, so where my first dot goes, and then my slope is negative 2x. So that means I'm going to go down to over 1, down 2 over 1. Or I can also go up to left 1, up to left 1. And I'm going to keep doing that until I am ready to draw my line by connecting the dots. Sorry, my line's not very good. My shadow is in the way. But you can still see where do the two lines intersect. Right there. That is where they cross, where I drew the green dot. So what you do is your answer, it's the graph, plus you specifically list where that intersection occurs. So there's one solution, and it's at negative 2, 0. Okay? So there's one solution, and that one solution is negative 2, 0. Okay, so let's try another one. So we start out by graphing. We have our first equation is y equals negative x plus 4. So I go to 4, my y-intercept, and I have a slope of negative 1 this time. So I'm going to go down 1, right 1. And I'm going to continue this all the way to help me figure out where these points intersect, or where the lines intersect, sorry. And then we have the equation y equals 2x plus 1. So I start at my y-intercept of 1. My slope is 2, so I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Or I can go down to left 1. So if I go like that, now I look where, what point do they intersect. This time, we also have one solution. And it is at point 1, 3. So that would be my answer for that problem. Let's take a look at this next equation, or next system. Sorry, my smart board is being really glitchy right now, so I apologize. All right, so we have y equals x plus 4, so I start up at 4, and I have a slope of 1. So I draw my line as best as I can. And then I have the slope, I have y equals x, my slope is 1, and there's no y-intercept here. That's like saying there's, it's plus a 0. We don't typically write plus 0, but it's there. So that means I start right at y equals 0, my slope is 1. So again, I connect my dots, and I look, okay? Where do these lines intersect? They don't. So previously we said our solution was wherever the lines intersected. So if the lines don't intersect, that means that your answer is no solution because we don't have an intersection point. Okay? So if you have parallel lines, your answer is always going to be no solution. 
But you have to be careful on how you draw your lines because if you mess up on your lines, it might look like they're going to intersect when they really don't. Okay, let's look at our last, last example for this. We have y equals 1 half x minus 1. So it's already in slope intercept form, so I start at negative 1. My slope is 1 half, so I'm going to go up 1 over 2 because it's rise over run. Careful that you don't do run over rise. You always go up and down first. I'm going to connect my points. So there's my first one. Now if I look at the second equation, I have x equals negative 2y equals x minus 2y equals 2. So what I'm going to do, because it, I think it's easiest to graph from slope-intercept form, I'm going to get y by itself. So negative 2y equals negative x plus 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2 in order to get y by itself. So I have y equals what's negative divided by a negative, that's positive, and x divided by 2, that's the same as 1 half x, because there's a 1 there. So it becomes a fraction. And then we have 2 divided by a negative 2, that becomes negative 1. So if I look, I have y equals 1 half x minus 1. Now this sounds pretty familiar because that's the line that I just graphed. So I would go back and I can re-graph this same line if I want, or I could just leave it. But when you end up with a graph where you only have what looks like one line on it, or the equations end up being this, the, an equation for the same line, instead of it being no solutions, it intersects at more than one point, right? It didn't, intersects everywhere. So you can say infinitely, so infinitely many solutions. So our answers, our possible answers are one solution, and you list a point where the two graphs intersect. There's where you have parallel lines, and that's a no solution, or where you, or you have an example where you end up with two equations that are the same line, and that's infinitely many solutions. So hopefully this was helpful. I hope you guys have a great day.